we're going to do corn syrup, and we're going to start with the light corn syrup. And that's just a good base. And you want uh, four parts of light corn syrup to one part of dark corn syrup. And the reason for that is this is just, it's too clear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, come on, oh, grab a, oops. could somebody grab her a chair? It's hard to stand. You don't want to stand the whole, four parts of clear syrup, one part dark syrup. I'm just going to eyeball that. And then we're going to use gel food coloring. The reason for that is the the other food, has anybody made a cake? Mm -hmm. I have. Have you made it like red or green or fun colors? Yes. It's like a liquid, right? Mm -hmm. The food coloring? Yeah. If you add that to this, it's going to start to water it down. So that right there is the simplest blood you can make. Food coloring, okay, corn syrup. Is that food coloring like that um, icing gel? Yep. And I prefer the gelatin. Now I'm going to give you my tricks. These, this is what makes my blood my blood. The Don't regular. You have to mix it around a little bit. What's that? Don't you have to mix it around. I'm going to. I'm just going to add a few secret ingredients first. So the when you use the blood, was it kind of a little bit hard to get on your skin? Did it kind of color a little bit? I actually don't even remember. I don't even remember. Like I don't do that. Don't remember. Okay. So this can be a little bit hard to get off your skin. So my trick, just a dot of Dawn dish soap. And everyone's like, oh, you're putting soap on your face? This is the same stuff that they use to clean animals after oil spills. So it's perfectly fine to get a little bit. You don't want to get it in your eyes, but you also, when you're going to put blood in your eyes, you know? This is the one you don't have to add. It's just something that I like to do. This is called cinnamon leaf oil. And this you can, you know it? Yep, yep. We're only going to use one drop of this because this is really potent stuff. expensive? Oh, uh, this little jar was maybe like seven dollars. You know, for its size, it's expensive, but you don't use much of it. Um, so the idea of this is that we just made something that's sugar, right? If you put sugar out, you're going to get ants, you're going to get flies, you're going to get bugs, and we just add dish soap. If I mix that up, it might bubble up a little bit. You're going to get foam, that kind of stuff. This stops both those things. It's an antibacterial, antifungal, antimicrobial, anti-insect, anti-foaming agent. So this is like wonderful little stuff. So if you're taking a bubble bath, and or if, if say like you have a, a relative, like brother, sister taking a bubble bath, you put a drop of this in the bath, no more bubbles. It's kind of evil, right? Yeah. We're gonna mix that up. <laughs> so from here, and I'm actually gonna pour a little bit into your cups as we're going. Wow. And the darker it is, the well, less it's going to show up. Oh. So you got to remember, if you're taking pictures and stuff, you want it kind of red. You don't really want it like, you know, sort of a dark black color or anything like that. But at the same time, you're going to see this is really runny stuff. And we have a trick for that, too. Thank you. Can I have your cup? Yeah. 